Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can run Slitac OS in your Android. So let's get into the video. In this video, I am going to show how you can run a Slitac OS in your Android using Box PC Emulator application. So there is already a video on my channel that I have shown how you can run Slitax OS in your Android. But in that video, I have used the Limbo PC Emulator application. So this is the Box PC Emulator application. So this is the another application for Android which can run any Linux or Windows OS in your Android. So in this video, I'm going to use this application with uh, Slitax OS. So let me just uh, tell you about the Slitax OS. Uh, basically, Slitax OS is the OS which is based on Linux. So everyone knows about the Linux. Linux are the open source uh, OS which we can uh, use it. So Windows is different and the Linux is different and the Mac OS is different. So in my channel, I have covered all the OS. Uh, so you can check out my channel uh, in my previous videos I have shown how you can run windows with uh, uh, different different versions like windows 2000 windows 95 windows 98 windows 7 windows 8 8.1 10 windows vista windows 11 and in linux kali linux ubuntu uh, mint linux parrot os many os have shown how you can run in android and every single os is perfectly working i didn't make any video which is not work i only make the videos which is work so first of all i have do a lot of research on it and i test it on it and i just uh, more and more and then i make a video to everyone and i provide direct download links uh, to my uh, subscribers to my viewers so here i uh, bring another video in this video i'm going to show how you can run slitac os in your android using a box pc emulator application so if you want to run slitac os in your android so you have to understand that the slitac os is based on linux so there are a lot of things you can do an open os which you can use in your android so first of all you have to download the application box pc emulator application this application is officially available on the play store i provide the download link but this application is available on the play store you can uh, simply go to play store and type the box you can download this application this application will look like this you can see the icon and i also provide the link in the description you so uh, i will provide the link of my telegram channel from telegram channel you can get the all the links of files which i have provided and which i am going to show in the videos so after downloading both pc emulator application you need to download uh, an iso file of the slitac os so i have downloaded and it, it is c.img so this is the uh, file of this slitac os and it will be approx 512 mb i provide the download link of the zip file in the description first of all i provide the link of the telegram channel from telegram channel you can get in into my telegram channel and from there you can get the link of this slitac os so i have provided the link in the description you can check out there and download from there after downloading extract it as you can see i have extracted and it will uh, showing c dot image 512 mb as you can see so now i am going to open the box pc emulator application to show you the all the process make sure you follow all the procedure which i am going to show in the video to perfectly run without any uh, problem in further so just now i've opened the uh, box pc emulator application first i have done all the settings so let me just show you again so after opening application it will look like this you have to click on the ata0 master and from here you have to select the disk and here there is a button select you have to select click on the select and you have to select the c dot image which you have downloaded the slitac os and extracted after extracting it will show like the c dot image from uh, here down you have to boot you have to select disk so we have done the selecting of the os now you have to get into the hardware so it's your pc your android phone you can select any hardware it's up, up to you so this is the basically boss application nothing uh, complicated in this application everything is very simple for everyone so everyone can uh, use any os in android so here you can select the cpu i just select the first one and i select the memory of maximum ram and i've selected the chipset i 440 fx so this is the settings i have done you can do same and you can change according to you uh, 
and here you have to get into and select the full screen so i have done all the settings uh, in the box pc meta application so let me just uh, turn on the screen rotation and turn the android phone to get the better view and better understanding so as you can see just now i've turned my android phone to get the better view so i have done all the settings in the box pc uh application now at the top right you can see there is a green button which is uh, saying start so you have to just click on the start button after it will going to put uh, it will saying powered by sdl so as you can see silitac os has been started booting over here and it will uh, started booting up and it's showing all the commands so here it will going to take some time so let me just fast forward this video and come back to the next screen So as you can see in the screen the Slitac OS has been successfully booted and get into the login screen of the Slitac OS. So as you can see in the top screen of the uh, corner you can see there is a button you have to click on it and as you can see the screen uh, on the screen the keyboard has been appeared. So the box application have their own keyboard. So let me just tell, uh, show you how you can log in into this Slitac OS. At first, it will have some uh, username already mentioned TUX. Now you have to enable the keyboard. You have to just click on the enter. After clicking enter, it will show tell you to enter the password. Password you have to uh, enter. So after the username, it will ask you to enter the password. So password you have to enter root. So after entering root, you have to just click to enter. After clicking enter, as you can see, again it will go to the loading, and here it will. From here, it will going to start the desktop of this Slitac OS. So just now we have entered the username and password, and as you can see, the mouse cursor has been appeared in the screen. For very first time, it will take some time to boot. You don't need to just hurry up because we are running a PC ISO file in the uh, Android without any PC or without any internet. So all this application, uh, this application is offline. So as you can see, the Slitac OS has been successfully booted in my Android phone, and it will saying enable established connection. So you have to just click on the OK. And as you can see, this is the Slitac OS has been successfully booted. So there is a. So let me just show you. As you can see at the down there is a start button uh, taskbar so as you can see this is the start button and menu button while tapping on the screen with the two fingers as you can see it will show you the menu uh, this uh, desktop is totally different from the uh, windows uh, if you know about the Linux you can use it so as you can see uh, while typing on the uh, with the two fingers on the screen it will uh, show the uh, more options of the desktop from here you can control all the linux as you can see favorite applications file manager there are a lot of preloaded softwares over here file manager terminal mount devices web browser text editor desktop files icon open folder uh, desktop open box so as you can see there is a lot of uh, applications from here you can so let me just oh, going to open any software uh, the Linux uh, uh, OS basically famous for the uh, terminal. Terminal is a software where you can command a lot of things. So let me just open the application software for you to show you whether it's working or not. So as you can see, the software has been opened. Now you can type and click to enter. Uh, so if you know about this uh, software and you know about the Linux, you can use it. You can also connect to the internet while doing the some settings in the watch application before booting so as you can see let me just show you so this is the watch application running from here and this is the application as you can see this is boss application running over here and this is the slitac os so the slitac OS is perfectly working android will using watch application 
so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if any question or problem let me know in the comments thank you